Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. We can hardly wait for our mystery fall. Belle is doing absolutely amazing. She is getting bigger and bigger every single day. Now, a lot of you have been asking, when's the baby coming? When is the baby due? Well, when we were talking to the vet, the vet was thinking anytime in May, but it could be literally anytime between early May to June, maybe even farther, but I'm gonna guess mid to end of May. End of May is what I'm thinking, but we'll see. Obviously, I am checking her every single day, twice a day, multiple times, to see if there's any signs of foaling that's gonna happen, like waxing or her bagging up or anything like that. So we are gonna prepare her breakfast. She eats twice a day. I'm gonna show you what I feed her. We're gonna hang out a little bit and just spend some time with Miss Bella the ball. And you'll get to see how much bigger she looks too. I'll show you all the angles. It is a absolutely beautiful day. Perfect temperature, not too hot, not too cold. Great for Miss Pregnant Mama. So actually I'm gonna groom her up really quick first and then I'll feed her her breakfast. Look at you. Look at you, you dirty. You're so dirty. Yes. All right, Mama, I'm just gonna start brushing you. She's shedding a little bit still. You got a lot of dirt, so we're gonna use this brush just to make sure we get all that hair off of you. That loose hair. Big belly, nice and gentle, very gentle with this brush. A lot of people say, you know, don't use this brush, but honestly, it's the only thing that really works for getting them to shed, sorry, getting the hair off of them when they're shedding and I'm just super gentle with it. Good girl. Yes, you're being sweet. I know, you're gonna get your breakfast after we just get some of this dirt off of you. Yes. Actually, I think I'm gonna have you eat in the stall and then we're gonna go graze for a while. Koa, you being a good boy? Koa, yeah, you good boy? <laughs> well, it really hasn't been that muddy, so I'm not really sure how you got so dirty considering I groom you a lot. But when there's a will, there's a way, right girl? All right, now we're gonna use the soft brush on her. <laughs> you do have big ears, but I like them. <laughs> All right, mama. It under this neck and mane. We gotta fix that mane too. It's a disaster. It is honestly still surreal to me that we're gonna have a baby here. We're gonna have a full. Like, obviously, I know it's coming and I'm preparing, but it's just so weird to think like it's actually gonna happen. It's just so crazy since it's my first foal and it's really stressful that I don't know like when she was bred. So I don't even have like an exact window, just like a guesstimate, which you know, that can vary. So <laughs> that's my only thing. Oh, you can't eat the brush and there's hair on it. That's yuck. Yeah, I wouldn't like that either. You're so silly. So as you saw, we did the curry. Now we're just kind of wiping away all the leftover dust. Yes. She's like, maybe I don't want to be pretty. Well, you're pretty no matter what, but <laughs> we got to take care of you and that little baby in there.
it's hard for me to reach up here. <laughs> you big girl. Big. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're just big because you're big and you have a baby. Is that relaxing? Yeah. Don't be mad, we gotta get that little, that's bothering me. There, we got it. Yeah, I love you in blue. I love you in blue. I still call her Blue Bell sometimes, so. Bell, Blue Bell. I do love you in blue, so it is suit suiting. Mm-hmm. She's like, yeah, that's my name. Get your chest here. All right. I know, don't be mad. We gotta get some of this off. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just presentable. Can I get this off? Oh, we got a lot of stuff going on under here. Let's get that. Oh, teeth check. Let's check them. Looks pretty chill, pretty normal still. Good girl. Good job. Just want to get in here a little bit, okay? Good girl, I know. She's like, Mom, best we can. All right, I think that looks better. All right, I'm getting your breakfast. Hang on. You did good. You did good. Oh, I forgot. We got to do your mane first. It's a mess. All right, little sprush. Good girl. I know, I won't get too close to your face. Gotta get your tail. Good girl. And I'm just gonna run my fingers through it today. So the bail barns I have, the tan ones, the only thing that really sucks about them is that they rub the horse's manes out. And I wanna cry, but they save so much hay and keep it dry and prevent it from getting moldy and all of that. So it's worth it, I guess, but it really ticks me off. Yeah, you definitely rubbed a lot of yours out. And especially when they're really tall like Belle. Oh, you love it. Yeah, you did that. So I'm just running my fingers through to try to prevent pulling even more mane out. Got dirt all up in here. Yeah, big, big girl. She's a nice girl. You're so cute. Oh, come here. I know. I gotta clean your eye. You gotta clean that eye. Look good. Okay. I'm gonna run my fingers through your tail. Your tail looks good. Don't wanna mess with it too much. Just kind of a little maintenance. And that's it. All right, now it's actually time for your breakfast. Okay, let's put you in the stall first while I prepare it. Her favorite thing is eating. She loves her breakfast and dinner. Obviously she gets forage 24 seven, but she gets her grain and supplements and all that twice a day. Yep. All right, let's do it. On that stall. Good girl. And then I'll prepare your feed, okay? Good girl. All right. So we will start with her grain. I'm gonna put it in this green bucket here. Oh, we gotta refill it. So this is what I am currently feeding her. It's Patriot Mare and Full, and it's from ADM, and she really likes it. All right, so she gets two scoops of this. Yay! 
And then she gets a little scoop of this Himalayan pink salt. And like I said in other videos, horses lose salt much easier than humans. They lose up to 30% of their daily intake needs. So you have to replenish it. And that's exactly what we do. And of course they have salt lakes 24 seven as well. Then she gets her cocoa soya to keep her weight, keep her coat nice and shiny and healthy. Has all of these vitamins and nutrients. Do about that much, she's a little bigger. And then I have her on the supplement. So you can see what that all helps with. So she'll be on this while she's pregnant and while she's nursing, which will be a long time. Okay, so she gets one scoop. Well, one scoop is what the daily recommendation is, but she's a little bit larger, so she's going to get about a scoop and a half. There we go. Yes, so there is all of her grain and supplements. So she gets the grain twice a day, the two scoops of the actual feed, but then she only gets her supplements once a day, if that makes sense. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is add water to her feed. That way it absorbs easier, it's more digestible for her, and then we're gonna mix it up and serve it to her. All right, I'm gonna take it over to the well. And what I do is I just set it up here. Sorry, it's dark. Let's turn this on. Plenty there. Take it back in the feed room. And we will mix it up now. Yummy, yummy. All right, Miss Bell, I have your breakfast. Are you excited? Her favorite part of the day. Hold on, girl. Sorry, girl, just trying to get on the extra. There you are. You love it. So yes, this is Belle's favorite thing in the world, like I said, and she knows exactly when it's time to eat. Every time I walk out, she's expecting food, no matter when. Even if she has already eaten for the day, she's such a princess. Okay, I'm gonna let you eat for a little bit, and then we're gonna hang out and graze in the yard and go for a walk, give you a little bit of exercise. By the way, I picked out my names for the future foal, whether it's a colt, a male horse, or a filly, a female. I'm not gonna tell you, obviously, that would spoil everything, and I have to give you more to look forward to. So, yes, I'm very excited, and I think you'll love both of them, and they both make sense. So, it'll be super exciting to see what she has gender-wise, and then what she ends up having color and breed-wise. It's gonna be amazing to see what comes out of Miss Bell. All right, let's go let my little pig Penelope out. Penelope is my mini pig and she lives in our house. As you can see, she goes down her little piggy ramp and she comes outside every day to graze and hang out, get some sunshine, and then she goes in the barn. She loves the dandelions and they're very good for her. They are loaded with vitamins. It takes her a minute to eat them sometimes. And then she'll come down, come under the fence, and just hang out and graze for a little bit. And then she usually sprints to the barn. I absolutely adore her. She is an amazing pet and I'm so thankful that I got her. I've always wanted a pig and I've had her for over three years now. All right, horse lovers, we have a bunch of thank yous to do. Thank you so much, Nina, for these probiotics for the horses. Thank you, Gail, for this slicker when we trail ride and it's raining outside. This is gonna be great. Thank you so much, Angela, for this absolutely beautiful gift that really, really resonates with me and Prince Charming. It is so heartfelt and sweet. I really appreciate this. Thank you. These items did not come with a note, but thank you so much for this purple and black halter and also for the hoof picks. These are gonna be great. Thank you. 
Thank you, Elizabeth, for this adorable pink riding shirt. I can't wait to wear it. Thank you, Joan, for these purple lead ropes. Thank you, Leanne, for this gorgeous rope halter. Thank you, Addison, for these dental bones for Koa. He absolutely loves them. They are his favorite. Thank you, Dawn, for these amazing stirrups. Thank you, Kathy, for this cocoa soya for Belle and for this net to help clean the troughs. Thank you, Annette, for these two bags of horse treats. Thank you, Kimberly, for this Epsom salt soak for the horse's hooves and for this supplement for Belle. Thank you, Martina, for this huge thing of tea tree oil shampoo for the horses. I'm so excited to use it on them. It smells so good. Thank you, Deborah, for the supply of Marin Full supplement. So now we have it plenty. Thank you. Also, thank you, Deborah, for this foaling book and for this adorable little leather foal halter. All right, now we have a few gift card thank yous. Thank you, Kim, for this tractor supply gift card. Thank you, John, for this tractor supply gift card. Thank you, Susan, for this tractor supply gift card as well. Thank you, Lindsay, for this tractor supply gift card. Deborah, thank you so much for these two gift cards. And Tam, thank you so much for this gift card as well. Your generosity means so much to me and Kyle at Free Spirit Equestrian. You have no idea how much your gifts bring me joy and how much the horses appreciate them and how much just these little things help. I really, really appreciate it. Especially everything that went on with Prince Charming. It was definitely expensive. And like I said, I don't ask for donations, but these gift cards are just a little something that helps us out. And it truly means so much. And it takes the stress right off of my shoulders. So if you want to support Free Spirit Equestrian, you can order something off the Amazon wish list. Link in the description. We really, really appreciate it. And we do a shout out for every single item that we receive. Thank you so much, horse lovers. All right, so the princess is done eating her breakfast, and now we're just gonna hang out and graze. You love that, huh? Tasty. It's just really nice to spend some time with Belle after this crazy, crazy week. It has been a roller coaster. Just so much has been going on. So to get some nice weather and I've been getting some riding time in, some trail rides, and then spending time with her has been great. Plus we have a big surprise and I'm gonna be putting those videos out this weekend. So stay tuned. Um, it's definitely been an adventure and it's gonna be even more exciting when the baby comes. I really can't wait. I'm so, so excited. Regarding the wish list, you guys have done so much for Belle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We basically have everything we need. Basically, the only other thing I need is a brand new trough, but they don't have it on Amazon or it's like super, super overpriced and expensive. So I wanna be able to get her a brand new clean trough for her in the full. And I'm just doing a lot more research on anything else that we may need, but you guys, you guys had us covered. So thank you so much, especially since I didn't know she was gonna be pregnant. <laughs> There's just so much going on, but yeah, just thank you again. I know Belle's gonna appreciate it too. You sweet girl. Look how happy she is. She's so much more at peace. And I'm just so happy that she is in a safe place to have this baby. Like I've said before, could you imagine where she could have ended up and been so stressed? I, I don't even know. So thank goodness she's with us at Free Spirit Equestrian and Again, I'm just so thankful for all of your support. You guys are amazing. It just makes my entire day. Like, I don't even know what I would do without YouTube and my audience because it's it's just amazing to have that community behind you no matter what happens. And you guys are diehard supporters. I really feel like I don't get that much hate. And if I do, it's just something stupid like my lipstick. Like, pff, okay, whatever. I don't care. But there's rarely any really negative comments. And like I said, if there are negative comments, it's just from people who just don't get it. You guys get what I do. And that's what's so cool. <laughs> you can see how much her belly's dropping. I swear, sometimes you just look at her and she looks really, really pregnant. But it is hard to tell on the video. There you look from this angle. Yeah. <laughs> Is that delicious? Sometimes it's nice to just hang out with the horses and not worry about training or riding or anything like that and just appreciating being in their presence. I think that's so important. 
Next week, we're really going to start preparing her area for foaling. I'm going to be putting straw down in her foaling stall, making sure that the cameras are up and running and working, really grading her paddock, making sure it's all flat, not muddy, getting the new trough, hopefully, and just doing all of those things. And like I said, we don't know exactly when the foal is coming, and that's, that's the hardest part. So... Foal could be here in a week and a half. Foal could be here in a month. I mean, heck, it could even be two, but I doubt that. I mean, of course, like the vet said, at the time of the vet check, it was about two months. So that would put us around mid to end of May. But we don't know 100%. So we're going to start doing all that. And of course, I will video everything. Everybody asks for updates, but it's pretty much just this for now until we see any big changes. But of course, I'll still be making videos with her. Yeah, we're pretty much just taking it easy, hanging out, grooming, walks, doing a little bit of groundwork. I'm not really trotting her on the lunge line anymore, just walking or going for hand walks. It's been going great. Okay, horse lovers, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications just in case there's any changes with Belle. And we'll see you next time, horse lovers. Bye. Say bye, Belle. <laughs> All right, bye, horse lovers. <laughs>